There are three things that kill the profit in most digital agencies, regardless of how much revenue they're generating. I call them the three profit killers, and I've seen them destroy agency owners earning from 20 grand a month right up to multiple seven figures a year. See, most agency owners hit a point where they're running around with their hair on fire, managing client expectations, and trying to get their team to deliver on the promise. I've literally been on the other end of the phone with these agency owners as they've been in tears, wanting to burn the whole thing to the ground. These three profit killers will actually send some agency owners out of business, if not financially, than just through sheer burnout. And if you haven't experienced any of these profit killers, well, chances are you just haven't been in the agency game long enough. The good news is there's one very simple tweak you can make to your current process that fixes all three profit killers in one fell swoop, and it flies in the face of most of the advice that you'll hear from the gurus. However, there are some mental barriers and a whole bunch of really bad advice on the interwebs that prevent agency owners from making this very small change. So I've spent the last few weeks interviewing our most successful agency clients about how they're using this new method to grow their revenue and profit and to deliver better outcomes for their clients and keep their teams happier. And in this video, I'm going to show you how it wipes out the three profit killers that could put your agency out of business and also how to overcome those mental barriers so you can implement this with confidence. I'm also going to give you a free pack of templates to make sure you can't mess this up. So let's address the three profit killers. The first is talking to prospects for free in the hope that you demonstrate enough value that they'll either sign on for a monthly retainer on the call, which is very rare, or ask you for a proposal, which is a delaying tactic so they can avoid making a decision on the call. Now, I know it's very exciting when someone raises their hand and expresses interest in what it is you do especially if it's a referral from one of your favorite clients. It's a great opportunity to flex your creative muscles and give them some ideas on how you can help them. It makes you feel good because you've given some free advice to someone and it's reaffirming to remind yourself how much you know. The problem is because they have no skin in the game at this stage, they don't value your advice and they'll most likely do nothing with it. The most common outcome from these free sessions is they say thank you and you never see them again. A bit like a blind date who tells you they're a vegan in the first five minutes. Now let's assume they do ask you for a proposal, you feel like you're making progress and the relationship is going somewhere. At least they haven't shut the door in your face, right? This is the second profit killer. Not only does writing proposals take time, and time equals money and profit, but it's almost impossible to articulate in a proposal exactly what's going to happen during a project and keep your client and your team on the same page. This leads to mismanaged expectations and poor outcomes for everyone, and meeting expectations that have been missed costs time, and time is money and profit. But hey, let's pretend the proposal gets accepted and your team is exchanging virtual high fives on Zoom with excitement about this new client and project. I bet as the agency owner, a little piece of you dies every time this happens. Because as my friend Seamus says, it's like throwing sand onto the gears of your agency. Everything you want to do in your business has to slow down now as you become the slave for this new client and their unrealistic expectations. Bang on, Seamus. I know we try and get our clients to join us in ClickUp or Trello or whatever project management system we use and collaborate on the journey with us and we try our best to get content and approvals from them on time so we can do our job. But hey, they're busy and they slow the whole process down, causing what Sir Topham Hat calls confusion and delay. And if free strategy sessions and proposals haven't eaten you alive by this stage, then allow me to introduce the third profit killer, the dreaded scope creep. This is where you're halfway through a project or a campaign with a client and you realize they're expecting something that you have not agreed to and have never heard of before. And in fact, something you and your team are not even capable of delivering. You wonder to yourself, did I miss a meeting? Did I miss an email? Who are these people? And what have they done with my client? You start doubting yourself as you look over the proposal and are appalled at the lack of detail that was agreed to. You start to sweat bullets as you ask ChatGPT to help you write an email to realign the client's expectations. Don't worry, I've already done that for you and I'll pop the response in the description. Getting the client and your team back on the same page takes time and time is money and, well, you know the rest. So what's the one small tweak you can make to avoid the three profit killers? The secret to a more profitable agency is... Hey, Discovery. Paid discovery is easier to sell on the front end, allows you and your team to get paid to set the expectations of the client from the get-go, and takes a chainsaw to the dreaded scope creep once and for all. And I know you won't believe this statistic, but the agencies that we mentor are converting paid discovery clients into ongoing growth plans at over 85%. Paid discovery will make your agency more profitable, period. It takes care of the three biggest profit killers that put most seven-figure agencies out of business, and in fact, we are so confident in the paid discovery method that we guarantee a return on investment for any agency that works with us to implement it. Now, I get it. 
If you've never charged for discovery workshops, then I know this is a leap of faith. It was a leap of faith for Simon too. Simon runs an email marketing agency for e-commerce clients and is well over seven figures in revenue, very well established with a great team doing great work for happy clients. He's also a member of our Mavericks Club coaching program. And he posted this the other day in our wins channel in Slack. The biggest hurdle mentally, I've been so used to trying to sell a retainer up front. Paid discovery, although a smaller initial investment up front by the customer, allows my team to 100% better understand the customer's current status state and opportunities to grow. We also use PDM to suss out the customer and if we want to work with them. PDMs also close into ongoing recurring revenue easier than trying to sell a retainer up front. Super glad we're using PDM. Sales calls are more streamlined, promising nothing up front to the customer. No guarantees. The outcome is a super 12 month plan they don't already have and from day one of the 12 month growth plan, we can hit the ground running. If you're thinking about using it, definitely give it a go. There are so many good resources and examples in the Agency Mavericks community that you can quickly create your own PDM offer and sell on the next call and from what I've already seen your close rate will go up as you've already built rapport trust and understanding with the customer thank you Simon but I hear you loud and clear Nobody wants to pay for discovery, Uncle Troy. And you're right, which is why we don't call it paid discovery. We simply rebrand paid discovery to digital roadmaps. See, it's more than just figuring out what's needed. It's about making a plan everyone agrees to right from the start. These aren't free strategy sessions, kids. Clients pay for these workshops, which means they value the insights and are truly invested in the process. We have a saying here at Agency Mavericks, plan the work and work the plan. And what that means is that we're going to agree on the plan with the client before we do any work and then we we are going to stick to the plan and not get distracted. Now, I know a lot of agency owners get fruity about the idea of charging for discovery, thinking clients won't want to pay just to talk about their needs. However, positioning this phase as a digital roadmap changes the game. It's not merely a chat. It's a key planning stage where we set up goals and expectations, making the rest of the project run smoothly. We mentor agencies that charge anywhere from 1,200 right up to 10 grand for paid discovery. The sweet spot seems to be around the 25 to 3,500 mark. And some agencies now require a digital roadmap as a man mandatory first step. This method is safer for the client because they pay less upfront than a full project. It's also your chance to build trust and lay out a solid strategy. And when you show your clients your plan for their success, you're not just selling a service, you're building a partnership. A lot of agency owners are also nervous about pitching paid discovery because they doubt they have the skills to deliver a discovery workshop that is valuable to the client. The reality is most agencies are doing this work anyway when they onboard a new client. All we're doing is moving this to the front of the engagement and packaging it up as a standalone product. When we start working with agencies about implementing the paid discovery method, they have questions about the deliverables the client receives at the end of the process. What does the client actually get that makes this process valuable? We typically recommend a strategy document and a visual project plan or Kanban board that communicates what the plan looks like over the next 12 months and what is going to be done in what order. Imagine more than 85% of customers who begin with a digital roadmap end up committing to a year-long growth plan with your agency. This is is the current average conversion rate across all of our agency clients. This shows that trust and clear expectations from the start can be very powerful. Digital roadmaps allow you to show off your skills and the real value you can bring to a business before a major project or campaign begins. It's not just about getting the customer to agree, it's about creating an efficient workflow. You and your team can avoid last minute rushes for approvals and content, replaced by a smooth process with clear deadlines and tasks that everyone understands. So how do you get started with paid discovery? Well, a good place to start is by downloading our paid discovery template pack, which includes a white label slide deck you can use for in-person workshops or over Zoom, participant workbooks for your client and a facilitator workbook for you. There's a link in the description to get your hands on it and it's totally free. These tools aren't just for doing new things, but for doing things right. Agencies like yours who use these digital roadmaps see not just better client relationships, but also better team performance. Your team knows what to do and your client knows what to expect. Maybe rainbows and unicorns do exist after all. To wrap up, selling digital roadmaps instead of offering free strategy sessions is a game changer. It aligns your team and your clients with a clear, mutually understood digital strategy from day one. It reduces the risk for the client with a smaller initial investment and set your agency up for ongoing profitable growth. So if you know you're ready to dive in and you want some mentoring to help you go further faster, then click the link in the description to schedule a call with our team and we'll see if we can get you moving. This video is sponsored by High Level because everything about the product and the company is just absolutely awesome. I've been using High Level since 2022 to run our multiple seven figure a year agency coaching business and I recommend it to anyone who is looking for a sales and marketing automation engine to drive their business. I'll put a link in the description where you can sign up for a free 30 day trial to get you started.
I'll also put a link right here where you can go and get your customized agency game plan report, which will tell you exactly what you should do over the next 90 days to grow your agency based on your specific circumstances. So go and check it out. I'm Troy Dean, and remember, wearing headphones can increase the bacteria in your ears. Now, let's get to work.